after another thrilling round of racing, it's time for the most important day of the week. It's time for Missing the Apex. Oh, it certainly is, and there's only one place for us to start. Oh, hey, Lorenzo, just look at him go. Is that slow motion? No, he really is just that slow. Holy moly! But anyway, I've decided I've got a brilliant plan. What's your plan, Jack? I'm going to go down to the bookies, and I'm going to put every single penny I've got on Matt Marquez to win in Austin. Well, that's a very safe bet. He always wins in Austin. Six out of six. He can't lose. Oh. Oh. So after that disastrous weekend, not scoring any points in Austin, Repsol Honda are thinking of taking up running instead. Yeah, I heard that one too. In fact, as you can see, Matt's warming up the second part of his relay. Hasn't he got his coat on? Mm. But anyway, these guys need to be waking up. Yeah, wake up, guys. We've got a Missing the Apex exclusive. Exclusive. All of their riders and teams at the Circuit in Americas, Jack, were obsessed with last week's episode of Missing the Apex. Even Hollywood superstar Channing Tatum. Yep. He was doing a lap of Kota and he was more interested in watching his phone. After uh, the big race, Alex Rin's first victory, I had a very important question for him. I want to know, Alex, what is your tipple of choice? Can be with, with six or seven Estrella Galicia beers. Ooh, you're hard. Well, we've got Matt done here, Alex, to tell you what you can have to eat as well. We have some kind of pastry here with um, goo inside it. Very nice. It's sort of a wraparound pastry. It looks a bit like a plat, almost. Uh, we have a muffin with hazelnuts on it and the blueberry muffin I had earlier. It was amazing. Um, and then we have a swirl. Uh, and then we have another one with strawberry jam, a pastry turnover. Ah, insightful commentary as ever from Matt Dill. Thanks, Matt. Uh, right, let's have a look at social. Everyone really wanted to know, Alex runs after your victory. Are you going to shave your head? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, also, by the way, Jamie, don't know if you were aware, bit of rain over the weekend. There was just a touch. And well, actually, everyone was being told to run away, run away. Everyone well impressed with Mark Marcus's warm-up and manoeuvres. As was I as well. He had some proper dance floor moves. Yeah, we did, but not like Havis here in. Wow, look at that. In the meantime, though, let's go to Matt Burt and Steve Day for some live commentary from Kota. On board with Darren Binder, who right now, live championship, would be the series leader going into Jerez in a couple of weeks' time. What a turn up for the books that would be. Well, we've seen a Binder lead a Moto3 World Championship in recent history, haven't we, brother Brad? Ah, Matt Burt and Steve Day. What a duo. What a combo. They really are. They're like motorsports version of Laurel and Hardy. They are, Jack, but it's time to say goodbye. Ah, oh, OK, then. Goodbye, everybody. Just before we do, we better just check up to see if Jorge's made it yet. Oh, no, there he is, still going. Go on, Jorge. You can do it, pal. Go on, you're nearly there, mate. Look, past Yamaha. Oh, a couple of strides. Go on, there go he on. Is. He's there. Yes! yes! Oh, don't worry, Jorge. You know we're only kidding. Once you've got over those injuries, you'll be back sprinting down pit lane like the gazelle you are. We'll see you in Jerez.